when was it when we first found the adelgid on these? 15 maybe? 2014. These trees are actually recovering fairly well here. As we go around, you'll be able to see other places where they've been destroyed by it. So it shows the difference between caring for them and not caring for them. Check the light on those leaves down there as you walk oh, towards yeah, them. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's not even direct sunlight, it's just a little more light. filtered light right there. When it gets up into the, the upper boughs of the hemlock, it's just like this mist that forms and a lot of light refraction. It's really cool. Wow, look at that one up there, trees. He's always compelled about everything in nature and human behavior and how we live within that system. As you walk through any system like this, you'll find massive root activity. Look at all the look at all the roots here. There's more life in the volume of that than there is mineral. I'm Robert Duckett, my wife Tracy and I, and occasionally my daughter help together working in a, a just a small time tree business. Our entire business is about relationship. It's not about our business and our money. There's nothing I enjoy more than walking in the woods with people that are so used to the beauty that they have on their property, they might have forgot that day, you know? They might not be right on it all the time. And then to reawaken that in other people is just a very inspiring and enjoyable thing to do, you know? Look at Trace. There is a delgid there. We're not far from where we originally found hemlock woolly adelgid. I cut a branch out of a tree that we were trimming, and when it hit the ground, my daughter says, what's that white stuff? And I said, geez, I wonder if it's hemlock woolly adelgid. And it sure enough turned out to be hemlock woolly adelgid. That's rule number two. We didn't really know what to do at first. We just wanted to make it public as quick as we could. We were worried about not enough people knowing about how serious it was. Look at this. And are they a tough tree? To come from a perspective that is both spiritual and tangible and try to bring it to others seems like the best medicine we can do, you know? You have a choice. Why would you just say, <laughs> maybe you've got things going on in your life that are very difficult but you also need to be looking at what your legacy is gonna be. One of the things qualifying me to say that flat out to anybody is the fact that I've got late stage cancer, you know? And, uh, and I, I've told others I, I'm not afraid to use it um, to make it mean something to somebody because I'm looking at the end of my days and I'm looking at my legacy. And so I ask, what's your legacy? Start thinking about it right now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is the best we could do with, with what we've got. Nature is just such a real experience. So the more aware you can be, the better. But if we can bring people closer to the living system that we share, um, that's what our whole life is about. It really is. If you look long enough into the canopy with binoculars, you will see something interesting. If you look anywhere, Closely enough, you'll see something interesting. 
I remember the first time that you showed me just one segment of the hemlock branch under the microscope and how many critters were crawling on there. I know, I know, just a twig. A one inch twig had 10 different species as far as I could tell. Some of those things were so hard to recognize, it was unbelievable.